Hey guys, sorry if I look a little unkempt right now, even though I uploaded this like in the day. Um, it's late at night at the time of this recording, and uh, while I'm still up, while this idea is still fresh in my mind, I actually wanted to pose a question regarding something that's been eating away at me for quite some time now. Uh, in my time looking up things on the internet, just following what um, other people are doing, um, and basically, um, just looking up Facebook posts, interests, I, um, was wondering how come people are able to get into darker subject matter in, like, movies, like, The Dark Knight and stuff? Don't get me wrong, I love that movie. Why do you think I have the poster there? So, yeah, like, darker movies, TV shows, books, video games, pop culture in general, but not so much in, like, music. I understand like extreme metal, black metal, death metal, stuff like that. That's all like a niche, a highly devoted niche, which I gladly associate uh, associate myself with, but still a niche that's kind of just on the sidelines compared to what we typically listen to on the radio. Lady Gaga, Kesha, Justin Bieber, uh, Katy Perry, One Direction, you know all the names. I really don't need to repeat them, but... um. Is it because, like, the big corporate conglomerations, all the big mainstream labels aren't, uh, like, spoon-feeding the stuff that I typically listen to, to, like, uh, the mainstream in general? Is that why? Because they're not being parented by the all-powerful um, corporate machine because um, it's not socially acceptable and because the um, mainstream corporate labels say, oh no, this music's bad, then uh, they aren't able to readily accept it, then how come they're able to readily accept zombies and depression and suicide in movies, but not in the music? I understand, like, the general aesthetic of, like, metal music is, um, like, like I said before, it's not for everybody. It's heavy, it's loud and fast and stuff. Uh, most people would rather just listen to a a chill like dance pop song or something like that would it be better if we were just to uh, transpose lyrics from say a cannibal corpse song like i don't know hammer smashed face and then just just take those lyrics and put them in a basic song structure of um a song like what makes you beautiful by one direction or something like that just what makes you beautiful like, just basic song structure-wise, musically speaking, but with the lyrics of Hammer Smashed Face, would people be able to accept that more readily? They can easily accept horror movies and stuff like that, but they can't accept Cannibal Corpse lyrics? I, I really don't get it. I mean, and granted, I know a lot of horror movies out there, especially like PG-13 ones, I know they're censored and all, so they cut out, like, the really gruesome crap and stuff, but... Uh, sur uh, surely you must see some really gruesome stuff in, like, the R-rated horror movies and stuff like that. What makes Cannibal Corpse and Cattle Decapitation's lyrics any worse? I really don't see much of a difference, but apparently the mainstream does. Um, I mean, again, the aesthetic of metal music is probably what turns people off, but if we were just take just to take the lyrics from a Cal Decapitation song or a Cannibal Corpse song and put them into like a Lady Gaga or a Justin Bieber song, something like that, would people be able to accept darker subject matter in their music as long as it's a highly catchy poppy beat and stuff where they could shake their ass all they want and all that crap? Um, and I, I think they'd be able to accept it because, um, I really don't know. As long as it's dancey, poppy bullshit, then they'll be able to take it for what it's worth. But, um, anyway, that's kind of all I really had to, uh, say about it. I understand, again, the aesthetic of the music and, um, just the style of the music in general is, um, that's definitely not for everybody, but I just, uh, wonder why most people are able to take gruesome stuff in their movies and just in pop culture but not so much in the music which I've definitely noticed quite a bit we uh, most uh, I think the most we've ever gotten is We All Die Young by Kesha which is just a stupid 
pop dance anthem. There's nothing more to it than that. Anyway, my discussion rant video is um, about done, so if you guys like to uh, leave some comments and contribute to the discussion, I'm sure all of you guys have some very insightful points, which I probably haven't mentioned. If you guys, well, I would say if you guys would like to post a video response, but fucking Google had to take that out. Fucking corporate son of a bitch. But, uh, anyway, that's a different rant altogether. Um... Anyway, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm done here, so, uh, yeah, I really need to get to bed. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.